everyone and welcome back to BAPS Hockey. Today I'm going to talk about IQ Game. IQ Game is essentially the hockey software system in your brain that allows you to anticipate and read plays in the game, also known as Hockey IQ. And so the only, the, most people thought that developing your IQ game was something that just happened over time when you were younger. As you grew and played at higher levels, you built up a better software. And oh, what I have discovered is that you can intentionally develop Hockey IQ through the IQ game system. The first person who got me started on this was Jason Gee up at Train 2.0. He called it the Gretzky Project. And make sure to check him out. He has a lot of good stuff on this, um, on this area. I've refined the system and really developed a more deep analysis on how to really dive down this rabbit hole that I went down. And essentially, we... It was first coined the Gretzky Project because Gretzky would follow the puck around when he watched hockey games. He didn't have Twitter, he didn't have Instagram, he didn't have all these distractions that we essentially have today. And so when he'd watch hockey, he'd follow the puck around. And one of the big things in his game, if you ever watched or listened to some of his interviews, was he didn't go where the puck was, he went where the puck was going to be. And so that anticipation skill can be taught and it can be broken down into different patterns. I've been able to break down over 10 patterns that occur in the ozone frequently to create offense. We won't be getting into those. I'll discuss one main one at the end of the video so that I can get you guys started on the right path. So here, again, I'm gonna go through the step-by-step -step process to get your IQ game up and skyrocket it and really build up that software. We need to upgrade it. Just think about your iPhone. Like every couple weeks, you need to upgrade the new software. And think about the last time you watched the game intentionally and focused on exactly where the puck was going. The answer is probably going to be probably not very fairly soon or at all. And so I know it's the summer. This is this system is essentially what you do at a high frequency in season. In the summer, you like to do it once or twice a week, watch a period of hockey, so that again you're always building in that software. You want to keep up upgrading it. And so what I recommend is getting a board. So right here, I have a board so with a marker so that you can erase it once you get through it. And then all you have to do is go on YouTube. What you would do is type in full NHL game. Again, if you have the NHL package, you can go through, you can go through and pick up so any game you want. But again, if you're on a budget, like most of us are, you got a free you got access to free NHL games all on here. And so you pick any game, make sure you have your marker, your board, you can print out a you can print out a sheet so that you can go through this. Sorry, one second. You can print out a sheet so that you can just go through it on a pen and paper. That's also one way to do about go about it. This way is a little bit easier because you can just erase it and just go right back and start over again. So you're gonna save a little bit on printing cost. So right here, so right here we'll start. What I like to do is go right up to. What I like to do is go right up to here. Get my board up. When I press, I will get a full screen. Like the volume on, so we can watch the commentating. Puck's gonna start here. And now, I'm watching where this puck's going. Cut back. Walk up the wall. Boom. So again, right through the middle. Pop it right back out. Here. I can make this a little bit easier on myself. Follow it off. And again, I'm just intentionally following this puck around. Where is it going? Where is it going? I'm not too worried about the puck marks, again, on this page. I'm just trying to find where that puck's gonna go. Right through here, boom. So again, like I said, you saw at the beginning, I sometimes with the camera angles, they get a little reverse, you get a little so sidetracked here. Don't worry too much about this right here and perfectly doing where the puck goes. It doesn't really matter essentially here. What the focus is, is having your eye on the game and we're working on going wherever that puck's going. So we follow and we're intentionally trying to understand where these pucks are going. And what we'll see is that 
there's a pattern that occurs, there's consistencies. The game is very chaotic, but when you break it down and look at it from a deep and intentional way, you'll be able to see these patterns that are coming. And when you can see these patterns, you can anticipate, read plays better, create more offense, win more games, score more goals. That's essentially what we want to do here. We want to create more offense. We find new ways. In, IQ, in this IQ game system, this is the first step to getting your software up and skyrocketing your game. So now, what I want to go through here, last thing, something, a little free Tim bit here to kind of get you started and kind of looking at one of the big patterns, and it's called threat to shoot. Anytime you see someone coming down here and they're about to shoot, what you'll notice is that you'll see players, instead of just standing in front of the net, pop to the back door. And you'll see this pass across to create this shot angle. And it can be coming out of the corner right through here. It can be D-man coming down the wall right through here, stepping in. And you typically have one guy standing in front of the net. But what I've noticed with this threat to shoot pattern that is happening consistently is as the second guy, instead of crowding the net front, they're moving to this open area, whichever area it is, right through here, or back door, right through here. So now, with D coverage, they always tell defensemen, let's make sure we have someone in front of the net, someone taking sticks. But now when you pop to the back door, it forces this, a decision here. And so now, there's this option, or there's that straight shot. Okay, and there's lots of things that happen here, but again, when you can get this puck across the Royal Road, that's essentially the key principle on getting, creating offense through this threat to shoot pattern. So try this out, watch for this pattern, and you'll see that your IQ over time, the more you do this, will upgrade, and you'll be able to see these patterns happen much quicker, anticipate plays a lot faster, and again, create more offensive opportunities. Make sure you check out my page for some more insightful info on off-ice skills. But again, this is what we're selling. This is what will bring your game to a whole new level. This is something that's not out there, and I really want to start stressing how important it is that you get onto the, like again, go to YouTube. It's all free. This is simple. This is 10 bucks to invest, three bucks for a pack of markers, and now you can really practice without ice, without anything. You don't have any of that stuff, you can start upgrading your IQ game. And that's gonna really skyrocket your game. So make sure you like, share, follow, make sure you toss a comment on, let me know how your Gretzky project's going, and stay tuned for some more information that will get your IQ game to the next level.